Hello YouTube. Today we're going to be assembling and reviewing the Reptifoga Terrarium Humidifier. Um, I received this from Live Foods UK, no fault of theirs. Uh, it doesn't work out of the box. I've contacted ZooMed. Uh, I've, I've checked everything that they've said. I, I've read a lot that people have problems with fans, um, cut-off switches, etc., etc. ZooMed wanted me to start calling them, and and they're obviously they're in America. I'm in the UK. Now this isn't something that I should do with a new product. It should work out of the box. Uh, I, I tend to give everybody a chance. I read the reviews, saw that a lot of people had had problems with the ZooMed Reptifogger, but gave them the benefit of the doubt, ordered one anyway. I've had other ZooMed products, such as the um, the Deep Dome and the Power Sun Bulbs, all fantastic products. I absolutely recommend them to anybody. Unfortunately, I cannot recommend the Reptifogger as I haven't got it to work. Um, so, anyway. Open the box, instruction manual, this has been followed to a T. You have a one litre canister, flexible hose, uh, this extends to, it's, uh, it's about three and a half, four foot. In the box is another box which contains the base unit which is the main component of the machine. So there is the Reptifogger base, 240 volt Inside, we also have the head, which basically just sits on top. You have the non return valve, which screws onto the one litre bottle, which then just places in the left hand side. Inside, there's a small piston which presses a spring opens a washer inside the bottle, releases the water, fills the machine and inside the machine there is actually a safety cutter. You see this? It's a small white float. When it's full of water, that goes to the top, contains a magnet. It tells the machine that yes, there is water operate. So let's reassemble. Uh, there is also a spout which goes on the outlet and then the tubing connects to the outlet this pipe would then be placed into your terrarium, vivarium whatever you're using it for and then you would simply plug it in turn the dial this light should illuminate blue and the machine would operate I've seen the videos where they do operate and they look like you know they work very well uh, I was really excited to try this um, I keep a tegu um, so the humidity needs to be uh, when shedding about 80% 75-80% so I was really looking forward to using this machine but unfortunately out of the box I, I mean I'll show you let's fill this Out of the box, doesn't work. Now I called Live Feed, uh, Live Foods UK. Uh, absolutely fantastic company. They do bulk frozen food, bulk live food, uh, Vivari you name it, vivariums, lighting, heating, everything. All next day delivery. Uh, I called up Live Foods UK. I told them, I said I received this Friday. Doesn't work out of the box. As you can see, I'll even fill the base. Now as you can see, 
the base is full, uh, full of water, but it, it still doesn't operate. Um, I have had it apart. Um, there's a small fan, uh, 24 volt, not a 12 volt. Uh, I've seen a lot of people make the mistakes of replacing it with a 12 volt fan. It's actually a 24 volt. Uh, uh, you can find it most electronic stores like Maplins for example um, and these are used in computers uh, most of the time I've tried that, that actually works, I put 24 volts through it and it worked um, but I called Live Foods UK told them didn't work uh, I told them that I'd contacted Zoomed and that they wanted me to start calling America to go through some troubleshooting and I basically said look this is a brand new product out of the box I should not have to be even calling Zoomed and they said no we'll refund you the money and return the item uh, this will be being collected today by courier and I'm also having delivered a replacement now I've decided to not go with the Reptifogger again um, you know I've already been burnt once and so I've been a week without a humidifier Zoomed have had the chance, I've read the reviews and there's that many people having problems with this Reptifogger uh, I think if you go on Amazon for example there's 72 5 star reviews but there's also 72 1 star reviews and that is just too much error for me I cannot take that risk so I've gone with the Lucky Reptile Super Fog 2, which hasn't been released that long. Um, the Repti uh, it's the Super Fog 2 also has two outlets instead of one. Um, it creates more fog, and the price difference was only five pounds, which for the American friends overseas is probably about seven fifty eight dollars. Uh, difference it creates a lot more fog it's got multi output it's got a two litre reservoir compared to the one litre reservoir with the Reptifogger and it also um, and I should be taking delivery of the Lucky Reptile Superfog 2 this afternoon uh, so I will also immediately upon receiving it, so within the next couple of hours, I'll do an unboxing video, an assembly video, and <laughs> hopefully if it works, out of the box, a review. Uh, I've looked on YouTube and I can't find any reviews of the Superfog 2 with it being quite a new machine, but the Superfog 1 is highly rated, uh, the, you know, the, the, the German made as opposed to, you know, American, well, these are an American company. I think it's actually made in China, but obviously with the German machine, I'm expecting better engineering, not to offend any Americans, but just the way it goes. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, please subscribe, so I'm gonna have a ton more videos. I'll also be taking requests if anybody wants me to review any equipment to do with uh, reptiles. Um, thank you.